Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. Today we're gonna to be taking a in-depth look at this guy right here. This is the brand new Blink X-T2 camera, X-T2 new version. So about a year-ish ago I checked out the Blink X-T, that was the original version made by Blink or Amazon, uh, depending on how you wanna slice that. And at that time, I wasn't really fully ready to embrace the concept of these really simple Wi-Fi cameras, sort of no-frills cameras, if you will. Well, a year has passed. I've worked with a bunch of other cameras, and I sort of feel like I'm ready to take a fresh look at these guys with fresh eyes and, and maybe sort of see where these guys work. So with the brand new version, this X-T2 right here, they've added a whole bunch of new features, most notably the two-way talk. So we're gonna check out all that stuff. Of course, we're gonna install it and do some testing. So we got lots to do today. Let's just jump into it. So before we jump into the nuts and bolts about this brand new Blink X-T camera, I wanna give you an idea of how it works. Basically, this is an indoor-outdoor camera. It's waterproof, so putting it outside is not a problem. Now, inside this case, there's a spot for two AA batteries that are included with the kit. They're actually lithium batteries. And with this new model, supposedly they're able to last for up to two years. Now, this guy actually has to talk to one of these sync modules right here that is also included with every kit. So the camera talks to the sync module. The sync module sends the video to the cloud so you can access it from your phone using an app. It's sort of that simple. It's a no frills model. You don't record all video, you only record motion. And that free cloud will hold about two hours of video. So if you talk about small clips, that's a lot of video. When it gets to that two hour point, it'll just write back over itself. So come on in and we'll check out some of the brand new features. So here's a kit that I bought. This is the Blink X-T2 and it includes two cameras. They have single camera kits all the way up to four camera kits. Give or take each kit per camera is about $100. The more cameras you buy, it drives down that price a little bit. Now the big feature to this model is the two-way talk, which is really nice. It means you can talk to someone outside and they can respond to you in theory. Um, it also includes a batteries that are supposed to be rated to two years, which is a vast improvement over the original version. The original versions were about one year, and depending on how much you recorded, sometimes even less. Now the other nice feature is this has got day and night HD coverage, uh, and supposedly that's at 1080p resolution. Now, now you can also set up motion zones on this so you can tell it, hey, only record when you see motion in this area. Now the other nice improvement on this model is they've actually improved the mount. The first one was a little flimsy and that was one of my big complaints with it because it actually triggered motion when the camera was moving on the mount. So I'm really happy to see they improved that. Now lastly, this guy will work with Alexa. That's not a big surprise since Amazon actually owns Blink. They've really made that integration nice. All right guys, now we're getting into the juicy stuff. So you've learned all the features of the Blink X-T2 camera system. Why don't we talk about how to install it? And I have to say this part is gonna be really short because it's really simple. All you have to do is this, download the Blink Home Monitor app onto your smartphone. From there, take your sync module, Sync module, power it up, connect it to your Wi-Fi, and you do all that through your app by scanning the IRQ code on the back of the sync module. Really easy. From there, just open up your app and you can add your cameras. That part's easy as well. Again, it's gonna require a scan of that inside your battery compartment. Really easy, I've done this a number of times. Blink has this buttoned up, trust me. So now that we've got our first camera installed, let me give you a quick overview of how to use the app. First, open it up, and the home page will display your cameras that you have configured. So in here, you can go to Live View over here, or you can take a screenshot. Now, the other things you can do here is adjust the settings on the camera. Let's go up there. The things I wanna point out are activity zones. From here, you can control where the camera will record, what will trigger recording. So if you play with the settings, the re-trigger time, the sensitivity and clip length, that will actually adjust your battery life. So be very careful when you make those adjustments. You can see you also have some IR control, some microphone volume levels, and some video quality. So we've been very busy. We've covered all the features of the camera. We've covered how to set it up. Now, I know you're all waiting for this. Let's check out how the video from the camera looks. <laughs> 
Now we've seen the daytime footage, let's see what the same camera in the same position can do at night. All right guys, it is time for the wrap up. We covered a bunch of information in this video. Hopefully most of it you found informative, but it's time for the wrap up, so don't go anywhere yet. Now, as far as these brand new Blink X-T2 cameras are concerned, I think there's some very nice upgrades from Blink on these. Uh, the first model was pretty good, uh, but I really like what they've done here. The two-way talk, some of the battery conservation, like those features. Now, when I first saw the Blink XT, the original model, I, I just didn't give it a great endorsement. And the reason why is because I didn't really understand what it was for. I wanted to cover my whole front yard from my driveway all the way to the other side. It was just too big of an area for these particular cameras. These cameras are better suited for really small areas like walkways, entrances, back doors, things like that. If you focus them in a really narrow area, they work really well. Now, the nice thing about this is the cost. It's only $100 per camera, give or take, and that's a pretty good deal, especially since there's no reoccurring or monthly fees like on other brands. For example, the Nest, which is what I have in my front yard. But it gets expensive over time, especially if you add more cameras. So these, you buy them outright, you've got the camera, you're good to go. So overall, now that I understand them, and with these brand new improvements in the Blink X-T2, I gotta give them a thumbs up. So speaking of thumbs up, hopefully you'll give me a thumbs up for this video. Make sure you click the links below. There's links to the older Blink XT video if you wanna check out that. Also, make sure you check out all my other content and subscribe, hit the bell. There's so many things for you to do. You thought you were just gonna watch a video? Well, I've given you some homework. Anyway, with that, guys, I gotta get out of here, but I will see you around real soon.